Okay guys, today I'm gonna teach you on how to migrate a PLC project from Cymatic Manager into a TIA version. So first of all, you need to open your project on its original version. So just for example, it was being uh, created by Cymatic Manager, you need to open it and clear all the errors just for example this i'm going to show you a sample project so here i have a sample project i'm going to open it you see i have here error that's saying that the older version or not fully installed protol the system is looking for this even if it is not uh, there's no need for this so we need to clear this I will show you how later on but I will show you if you will directly migrate the project into TIA directly if you have any alarm on your cymatic manager so we'll for example we'll migrate it into a version 16 project so I'll just click the migrate project in the source path locate the project that you want to migrate it is located on desktop go to sample project here and select the s7p file click open the project name migrated version 16 so for example I'm gonna put this in this folder I will leave it like this then I click migrate so let's see what will happen if we migrate it directly if we have any error on our cymatic monitor So as you can see, you have an error here saying that the brutal missing in step 7 version 5.6 sp2. And if you go to migration lag, it will show you like this. So like what I said, you need to eliminate all the errors on your project before proceeding to migration. So let's close this and delete. So this is the migrated one that is not successfully uh, migrate. I will just delete this. So let's go back to Cymatic Manager. Open again that file. Click cancel. So normally, we'll open the last, the previous uh, project that you open. So you see the protol. You have a protol error here. So you need to eliminate that. So how to eliminate that? So just go, click the project, this one. Right click and go to object properties. And after clicking that, this will appear go to required software packages click that as you can see there you have a red highlight here so you need to execute click the execute to remove this error but by doing that it might take you a, for a while finishing this so it depends uh, he mentioned here takes about 30 minutes so all you have to do is to just wait until this one will be finished. So it will take time, so I need to pause this video and then I will return it back after finishing.
So be patient because this really takes time. Okay, now it's already 100%. As you can see, you don't have any more error on your Proton. So you can click OK now. And then after that, it will automatically save. Then you can close the project and start migrating your uh, Cymatic Manager project into a TIA version. So I, go, I again open the TIA portal. Remove this. Then I will gonna click the migrate project here at the left part of your screen, and then locate the project that you want to migrate. It's in the, located in the desktop. I go to desktop, sample project, open the S7P file, and click open, and then the location where I want to put the migrated. Uh, result or the project so here it's it will be in the desktop also and I will click migrate so let's wait for a while then the project will starting to migrate our project Okay, so what's another changes that, uh... okay, now we have another problem, which is the device, this, this, num this part number, or I think this is the HMI, it's not anymore supported on this version. So unfortunately, our HMI cannot, cannot be migrated also in version 16. So what we will do, because the aim is only to migrate the PLC. So let's open again the project in the Cymatic Manager and we will remove the HMI project so that we're gonna, we're gonna, we don't have any issue anymore on the migration. So here's the HMI, just right click and then delete then yes and then yes so you can see we don't have any more HMI then uh, let's return back to the migration okay let's migrate again Click Migrate, again choose the project, the S7P file, same location, then click Migrate button, and wait to finish. Mm -hmm. Now this is normal that we are receiving lots of errors one by one. So at this time, go to migration log. You have here has uh, been replaced. The migration aborted because uses a wide alarms number system. Please switch to a CPU-wide system and restart the migration. Okay, so we go back to a Cymatic Manager. Let's close again this one. Go back again. So in this case, we are eliminating all the errors during migration. So we remove that errors. So it seems that we need to 
compress ya untuk com klik ok Oke, okay. right click, message numbers, make it, oke, okay. oke, okay. message numbers, oke, okay. so that's it, and after that you make a save as file, Uh, make it a uh, change uh, migration choose a uh, location put it in the desktop Here in the assorted file, click OK. So this is the file now. Let's close again. Open again the TIA. It will be here in the assorted file. Change. Okay, this is the one. Move it to desktop. Okay, this is the one that we changed. Delete this. Migrate again. Go back to desktop. Go to this. Change. Click. Same location. Destination. Click migrate. So what we do here is to eliminate one by one the errors during migration so that we can successfully migrate the project. So you have still an error, let's see. Ah, okay. So we have an error on saving as the project. Just wait, I'm gonna delete this, change. Let's open again this sample project on Cymatic Manager. Open the project, uh, browse, the desktop. Is the desktop here? It's in the sample project here. So let's again uh, go to special message numbers. Click OK. Uh, message numbers. Click OK. And then go to save as. So what we miss is we need to we need to click the tick the with reorganization and then select the location. I'm gonna put this on certain files. Click OK. You have selected CPU oriented unique message numbers. So just click OK. So finish and then close it. Just delete again this. Go to our assorted files. And this is the one. And change this into. Change message. 
And open your TIA again. So you need to be patient in removing all that alarms. Then uh, again, repeat the procedure. Go to my main project. Uh, locate the one that we already uh, change. This one, change message. Select the S7P file, click migrate. Again, wait. Okay. As you can see, now it's starting to migrate. Before, we're not able to uh, have 20% more. Now it's 50%. So let's see. Now we're at six. Okay. So our migration is successful. So migration completed with warnings. So what are these warnings? I cannot display in ladder. So this is uh, really, when migrating, if it's not uh, recognized by TIA, it will convert directly to ladder. So if I, if I click this error, You see, and network one, it's now in STL. So we'll have a quick, quick comparison on the uh, actual enzymatic versus the TIA. If this, if these networks are the same on the original one. So the, origi the original is the one that having the name of sample project. Ay, sorry. This one, sample project. Let's go to the... Okay, it's in the unspecified CPU. So it will be this. Okay. So this is also the important thing that you need to look. It's the PLC. So the PLC we use in Enzymatic Manager is no longer supported, which is this one. The 312C. See? The 312C CPU. So let's go to its uh, hardware configuration. Okay. Is the three one two C? And let's see the version number two point six. See if we have the two point six version. Change device three one two C. And what is the, it's 5BE03, so this one, and what's the version? 
2.6 okay so this is the one we'll just change this okay and you see now you have a PLC and the second the second thing to do is to add add for example this module this module is not here so you need to add it's you need to go to the bottom part so it's the this is the code that you need to add the 6 es 7321 so this is an input module you see it's only have the input address 6 es 321 so di hbdi how many how many bits uh, okay it's a uh, di 32 by 24 here so this is the one 3 to 1 1 bill 0 0 if it's correct okay formative it's correct you need to add here now we have the same now with the other one and the last module is the do do 8 do 8 by dc24 to amperes so go to do 2 amperes this one do 8 by Okay. See, do eight by twenty four DZ that DC that a uh, DC by two amperes. So this one, perfect. Now the last the last thing that it needs to be the same is the address number. It's very important. Otherwise, if you having the wrong name numbers here, you will have a problem. Just drag this to the left. Okay, this is all the address. So compare. Compare here from the bottom on your semantic. So as you can see, the input address is started with 1 to 4 which should be a 0 to 1 only so we're gonna need to change this into 0 ah, sorry can click double click this go to inputs And IO address, change this into zero. Enter. Ah, okay, it's being used. So we need to change this so that it will not conflict. So it, the input should be two, and the input start. Uh, the input should be started. The address from two to five, and the. Digital output should be 6, so we need to change that. Go here, I address, click 2. Okay. So you need to rewire the tag so that it will copy all the tags in the tag name. Click OK, and this one should be 6. 6, okay. And this one should be zero here, bottom. Okay. Now, as you can see, seven, six, eight, it's correct. Zero to one, is correct. Two, five, is correct. And let's see if the uh, symbol name is 
Retain, go to IO tags. Here, as you can see, Yeah, it's also here. And I think we we have a mistake on the should not be reward the tags should be re, should be Yeah, we have a mistake. We can undo the can undo all. Okay, oops, too much. So see. So here. So we we'll redo. We'll make this two. Just click. This should be two. Enter. Do not change tags. This one. Click OK. And this one should be six. Six. Okay. And this one should be zero. Okay. And let's go to IO tags if it's retained the okay, so this is correct. And for the IO uh, for the output, we change to zero also. Yeah, perfect. Now the tags is copied according to the original one here. So let's see if it's correct. Right click. Edit symbol. Okay. You see? The motor. So it's copied. Now how about the ladders? We go to the ladder. So it's in net. What is that network that it was being alarmed? Sorry. The prop info. Uh, So this one. So let's see. In network one. So it, here it's an STL in TIA. Let's see in the cymatic. It's the same. It's network one. Network one FB6. Here. FB6. Okay. So, so as you can see, in the Cymatic Manager, it's in ladder, and in TIA, it's ladder. It's it is because that this ladder is not supported on this TIA software. Uh, but 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 this is only the same the same logic. You see, it's comparing the two integer the this tag to this tag you see so there's no difference it's only that it was being created as STL while in the in the original one which is the semantic manager is created by ladder but if you run this software actual on your PLC if you download this it will be the same the same function, you see, it's comparing load, load this integer and load 10. If it's equals, if both are equals, then this will trigger. That's for the network 2. In the semantic manager, it's comparing also two integers with number 10. It's the same. 
So there's no difference on this. It's only that the ladder, the programming language is different. But all in all, this is correct. So after that, right click, click this, and then edit. Then you need to compile everything. Okay, it's in the bottom. See, you you have zero warning, uh, zero errors, and eight warnings. So that eight warnings are this. So this is for the internal. Let's see if it's there. Three, oh, sorry. Hmm. Yeah, for me, it's, this one is also okay. Yeah, this one is okay. There's no problem on this. And what else? So you have you have eight. And I think we are okay now. Now this one will be now we know already how to migrate from Cymatic Manager into a TIA project. So thank you guys and just comment below if you have something else or you have some comment to add. I am free. I am open to accept comments, suggestions, and clarification. Thank you and goodbye.